Yes, welcome. I'm your host, Gail Williams. And I'm Carl Ray. And listen, we've got a fantastic show for you tonight. Oh my gosh, music, music, music. Off the chain. We've got Thurman Thornton II. We've got Joshua Rogers. We've got the infamous Kelly Lang. We're so excited about this next guest we're going to talk about today. Oh, aren't we? yes, very excited. I mean, I got up this morning about 4 o'clock because I was <laughs> so nervous knowing that she was coming because she is so cool, Super. number one. Oh my gosh. Man, she, she's a mother, <laughs> she's a wife. She's a country artist. Oh, She's goodness. a songwriter. She's soulful. She's passionate. <laughs> She's funny as heck. <laughs> yes, I'm she telling is. you, we've been laughing already. <laughs> and I'm just excited about this particular guest. Tell a little more about this Listen, guest. Listen, she's a three time Star Search winner. She's a multiple, she's had multiple appearances on the world famous Grand Ole Opry. She's a member of the North American Country Music Hall of Fame. She's an accomplished artist in oil painting and has been in homes like Oprah. Not okra, <laughs> but Oprah. Oprah, do you hear me? Did you hear that? And I've seen those beautiful, I've seen some of her work. It is just amazing. She is a strong Christian woman of faith. Yes, she is. And she's performed with people like Conway Twitty, Twitty George Strait, and Miss Loretta Lynn. Woo. Oh, she's awesome. Yes. But most importantly, she loves the Lord. Amen. And she has a phenomenal testimony. Yes, she does. And she is a phenomenal woman. So welcome to Atlanta Live, my friend, <laughs> Kelly Lane. Yay. Kelly, how are you? Hi. Welcome, Thank you, Kelly. Guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for so getting much. up. <laughs> hey, you know, I had to uh, make the coffee this morning, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's every morning for me, right? <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Well, great. You know, here on Atlanta Live, we actually love this segment because we get a chance to allow you to share your story so mm -hmm. that people can really uh, be edified. Their lives will be changed, hopefully. They will be inspired. Yes. Uh, and you've got a phenomenal story that I want you to share. We're going to jump right in uh, okay. to your story uh, right. about your uh, cancer survivor and yes. uh, you've uh, you've God has made a way out of no way for you and you have a story to tell we'd like to hear it today Shoot. okay well um you know I, I began singing when I was a little girl my dad worked for Conway Twitty when um we lived in Oklahoma City we moved to Nashville area when I was six or seven years old and I've been in this area in Hendersonville Tennessee ever since <clears throat> and um I'm the youngest of four kids and I just began singing in Nashville and doing um, local television shows like the Ralph Emery Morning Show and Nashville Now and Music City Tonight. And Star Search was one of the, the big yeah, yeah. opportunities that I had. Yeah. And it allowed me to um, really open up a different, a broader audience for my music. And although um, I got married really young, I had two children and was in that relationship for 15 years. I didn't really do much performing during that other than Music City Tonight. I did some writing. And um, lo and behold, as I progressed on with my life, I didn't know if I would really get back into the music industry at all. But once I did and I was signed to a new record label, I was so excited. I was <laughs> doing a concert in Switzerland, of all places, and I felt a lump. Oh, and wow. I'm like, oh, man. So I came home and I requested, I, I had had it looked at before I left town, but um, she just said I was too young. Mm. And I was 36 at the time. And mm. I saw Oprah Winfrey show and she was doing uh, breast cancer under 40. And she said, just do your self exam. What's it gonna hurt? You know, and I'm, I'm like, all right, Oprah, whatever you say. So I did. And that's when I initially found it and it was dismissed. And it just kept gnawing at me. So I, I went and did a, a diagnostic mammogram. This did not show up on a mammogram. Mm. Wow. It did not show up on an ultrasound wow. even. But I, I have felt God expressing Kelly, get it checked further. I, I just knew in my, my intuition. And I believe that's God's gift to us. Amen. Uh, yes. As opportunities to just be our own caregiver, you know, oh, yeah. and so I um, asked the technician if I could borrow her ultrasound wand and I pushed it in a little farther and she goes, oh, I'll be right back. So they brought the radiologist in and lo and behold, I was already in stage two breast oh, cancer. Wow. Mm. wow. And um, 
I just thank God that he nudged me, nudged me. And I, I think we, it's our responsibility to follow through, yes. you know, because sometimes we ignore that. Absolutely. Nobody wants to hear that kind of news, you know? So I was so frustrated though, guys, because I, I really wanted to continue with my career and I was mad. It just yeah. was not good timing, you know, it, right. it, as if it ever is, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I went through chemo and radiation and I was just dating my now husband at the time. And I, I felt like that was his time to go I, that he shouldn't stick around for this, you know, and we dated for a few years, but I just didn't think that that was fair to him to expect him to stick around. But, um, but he did. And we're together now 20 years. Wow. Um, wow. So, wow. Um, what a guy. I, I know. Right. A lot of guys tend to right. leave, you know, so, um, it, it's just been a beautiful journey. And I tell people that the, the, when some, a doctor gives you the diagnosis of cancer in any form, you automatically think of it as a death sentence. Right. But I chose to look at it as my life sentence. Wow. Hey man, That's come on. You're beautiful. Now. That's Kelly, beautiful. You're about to preach. <clears throat> I am preaching. Come on now. That is. I'm that is. You right now, when you hear something, God has the power to turn it around if you allow him to do yes. that because I chose my different thoughts. I chose to appreciate Hallelujah. things that I never even acknowledged yes. before. Amen. Yes. I chose to look at the sky bluer and the leaves greener and I thought, what if I never see this again? I, I didn't even notice they were here, you know. So it was just, um, it was eye opening, and it was. I promised God if He would allow me to live, that I would try to be a positive influence for other women. Because honestly, I didn't have anybody to look up to when I was going through this. Right. That was close to my age. Yeah. You know, I had, of course I've known people to gone through it, but I needed somebody to relate to and somebody that would be bold enough to tell me the real story. I, I didn't need sugarcoating. And um, I feel that that's my calling. I think the Amen. music is part of what gets me to be able to have a platform, thanks right. to you. Yeah. Right. To be able to share that there is life after this and, and you do not have to give up. Doctors aren't always right. Yeah, and, that's right. and I always say, you know, uh, being a great singer, a great songwriter, and all those things, those gifts that God has given us, those things make room for really what we're supposed to truly do. Right, our purpose, and, right. And, and so well, it's funny, Carl, because somebody asked me the other day, it's so kind when somebody says, oh, you're very talented. But to me, that's not something that I've accomplished on my own. That's a gift. Yes. That's right. something God instills yeah. in us. That's kind yeah. of like saying, Kelly, you have dark hair. <laughs> you know, like I, I can't take <laughs> the right, right. You know, or, you know, be upset or whatever. But my responsibility is what I do with that talent that, that I am responsible for. And I think it's, it's imperative that we support one another. Absolutely. Awesome. And you came out of that experience was a great song. Right. That you wrote. Tell us about that song. Well, it's funny because I wrote that song a few months before I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, watching a friend take care of her husband, she kept saying, honey, I'm not leaving you. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. He was frustrated because the caregivers were helping him and she would need a break, you know? <laughs> and I thought, oh man, if, if I ever needed somebody to be in my life like that, that's, that's what I want them to say. So I wrote that song and lo and behold, three months mm -hmm. later, I was diagnosed and <laughs> wow, quite quickly, it was a full circle moment when TG said that same phrase to me, you know, and I don't know it, I, that again, I just felt like I held the pen. I, God wrote right. that song right. 15, 16 years ago. Who knew that during this pandemic and the nurses and the doctors that need such love and compassion and appreciation, that song would really resonate with them during the Ascension Hospital commercial that they've, they've released nationally with my song. Well, Absolutely. I'm excited yes. about it, the song. I've listened to it uh, hundreds of times. Uh, no. I love the song. And Beautiful. I think we've got a video. We're going to play that video and all uh, enjoy the video. And you guys yes. will get a chance to hear what I've heard. And we'll, so be, many years. we'll be right back we'll after right it. Back. Look in my eyes and in my 
touch your lips with mine if you Wow. wow, how beautiful. How beautiful. And it's still blessing people. I know it blessed people right here today. I know Ooh, it that did. That song is just incredible. And Kelly, we're just so glad that God gave you that song. Oh, that's incredible. That you heard him. That, you know, sometimes you, you have these inklings to write these songs, and I've had a million songs I just haven't finished. Or, mm -hmm. But that's one you finished. And, and just, I'm so glad you did. And, and that it's no, transformed. I wrote that. I originally wrote it with just an in instrumental in mind. Wow. And <clears throat> TG urged me to complete the lyrics to that. So What a help mate. What a help me, right? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so Kelly, what would you say to anyone listening today that Watch. has gone through cancer and uh, they feel like they can't go on and, uh, and that they've come to the end of their rope? What would you say to those people? Well, I wasn't given the greatest of diagnoses, and <clears throat> I told my oncologist after my 40th birthday party, which was, you know, a couple of years after I was diagnosed, I said, oh, I wish you could have made it to this party. It was, it was a staying alive birthday party, and she said, well, I knew I could have gotten you to that age, but I, I'm not sure about after that, and I thought, that's weird. I think it's, it, I didn't like her attitude, <clears throat> so I fired her. <laughs> I, I, wanted, I wanted to be around people that spoke positivity around me right. and I suggest that anybody going through this get away from anybody negative get away from anybody that is trying to bring you down put yourself in a humorous situation watch happy movies try to do things for other people try to take the focus off of you and your situation right. do give to others and God will give you so much more and blessings back and comfort and you know just pray God right. hears Amen. you right. Amen. Right. yes he does Amen. and lay it down at his feet if you have trouble sleeping at night lay, lay it down, it down. Yeah, lay it down. he's a great physician he's got you Amen. Amen well a life message like that just yes. resonates with so many people and so we're so thankful and because you're faithful <laughs> Uh, with a little, a few things, God will continue to give you more and oh, more. Absolutely. And I understand that you. Well, I'll, I'll stop. Well, you, uh, no. you go ahead and tell. No, I can't stop talking. You, about you're it. still, you still have a lot of things going on right now too, and we want to talk about that a little bit. I, you and your husband received an award, Brantley, Texas. Tell right? Can you that. tell us a little bit about that? We've got a few more minutes to go. That came out of left field. I wasn't even supposed to be on the show in Bradley, Texas, and TG just asked, because we haven't been traveling that much, obviously, over the last year. He says, please come with me. So we, um, I, I performed a few things on the show and uh, was so thrilled with the welcoming that they offered us the key to the city. Wow, and, wow. And that was quite a thrill. I've never experienced that before. Um, awesome. I, I'm in the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame, and that came as a real shock for me, but being from Oklahoma, I figured Texas being our rival, that that would never happen. <laughs> that was sweet. And uh, they wanted us to put some of our articles of clothing in their uh, museum. So that, that was oh, awesome. cool. Awesome. Oh, cool. Very <laughs> funny. It's hard for me to give up my clothes now. <laughs> Even for a museum, dress. that's tough, right? Oh, I, 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 am, I have little memories with all of my clothes. I know that sounds so silly, but. <laughs> well, we've just got a minute left. And, yeah. Um, before we go, um, I got news yesterday that um, 
uh, one of our colleagues had, that was diagnosed, B.J. Thomas was diagnosed with cancer. So our heart and prayers yes. goes out to them. But Kelly, we thank, we're so thankful that you came and yes. uh, spent your time, your morning with us. Uh, if you guys want to know more about right. Kelly Lang, you can go to www.kellylang.net. Everything that you need to know yes. about Kelly or want to know is there. Music. And, and, yeah, the single, we decided to put the single, I'm Not Going Anywhere, uh, online for the first time as a single. Um, awesome. So you can get the hard copy and the story behind the song uh, on, a, on an actual CD. I sign those and we send them out. Wow. Um, all of my other music and we've got fun stuff on the on uh, YouTube. You can check out and subscribe there and keep up with our career. Awesome. Awesome. And we're going to just say God bless Kelly yes. Lane. God bless TG. Yes. Your family, your music, everything that you touch. We pray Amen. God will just do great things with it, Kelly. And we yes, hope that we you. see you in the future, very near future. Oh, yes. We love you. We love you too. Thank we're going to leave the light on us. for you yes. in Atlanta.